Inside Summum, a modern day religion whose founder himself is mummified inside their pyramid temple. Yo, yo, is this a cult or not? You, you, you decide. If you thought human mummification was a thing of the past, you would be wrong. We're here in Salt Lake City, and this pyramid behind me is no Bass Pro Shops, okay? This pyramid is part of the religious organization, Samum, that specializes in modern day mummification, because after all, ancient Egypt is so five millennia ago. Am I right? <laughs> you were so right. Today, we're gonna talk about the process, pricing, and philosophy of Samum. We're here to talk to you about the mummification situation Okay? So tell, how did this mummification factory get started? Great question, Scotty. Well, in the 70s, this man named Claude Noel had a vision where a bunch of blue people visited him. For a while, he wasn't sure if one of his friends put LSD in the donut that he ate that day. However, LSD trip or not, ever since then, Claude has been dunking people in preservative fluid and mummifying them. Pretty cool, right? You're telling me that a spiritual blue man group told the founder how to mummify people? Straight up. You wanna know how it works? Do I ever. The first things first, if you wanna get mummified, it's gonna set you back like 70 grand. Whoa, but check this out. First, they clean you up real good once you're dead. Then they cut you open, they take your internal organs out, they clean you, then they put your internal organs back inside of you and they sew you up, submerge you in a preservative fluid, and they cover you in a preservative glaze. Like a donut. A jelly donut to be exact. <laughs> oh, I get it. So our freshly cleaned internal organs are the jelly to the donut. Okay, so what if I'm trying to get the heavy meat by pets? Um, they mummify both dogs and cats as well. So this here is a cat that's in the process of being mummified. Yes, we open them up and then I do a arterial injection and we'll flush all the blood out. Put a lanolin wax solution over the fur. It would be the same process that we do for a human. This goes into the sarcophagus. Is that a sarcophagus of the cat? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it'll go inside here, purge all the oxygen out, and then we take it and we weld it and it ends up getting here. Inside the temple, there are dozens of mummified cats and dogs, mostly strays, oh yeah. And the founder is also mummified inside as well, alongside his favorite cat. He hopes to be dug up 500 years from now and cloned. Sick. Do you think he will be a new member of the spiritual Blue Man group? We can only hope, Scotty, we can only hope.